Kilo, Mike 4, Alpha, Charlie, Kilo. It's time to get HF in the truck. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So it's been over a year now since I bought the truck. I've been running VHF and UHF and have wanted to add HF capabilities. I finally decided to drop the 891 into the truck and run the ATOS antenna that you can see right there. Today, I'm going to walk you through uh, moving some stuff around. I had to move around the UHF and VHF equipment and then getting the 891 installed. Let's go ahead and take a look first at moving around that VHF equipment. All right, let me try to catch you guys up. Some dum dum didn't hit the uh, record button on the camera. So what I've had in the past, this is a backup camera that we use with the RV and it just kind of sits up there in the middle of the dash. It actually uh, was sitting about like that. And then down here below is where the FTM, let's see if I can grab the FTM head. The FTM head was sitting about right here. What I want to do though, is I want to move this up to the dash and kind of sit it beside that camera right there. That will allow me to A, be able to uh, see the FTM 500 a little bit better. And it will allow me to use this right here to mount the 891 in the very near future so I can have HF capabilities uh, in the truck here as well. So let's get some of this back out of the way. What I had to do, uh, they're on a Ford F-250. This is a 2020 model. The speaker cover sits up there, so you just have to get underneath it and pry it. It's got four uh, of these little plastic tabs right here, and man, those things are incredibly strong. I actually thought I was going to break the dead gum thing before I got it out. Then, right back here in the very back, there is two 7mm screws that's got to be removed, and then we used a pry tool to pop this up. Once we get this popped up, it's pretty straightforward. We just want to uh, unplug the speaker. You can see the speaker right there. Just unplug it. And now this tray is completely out of the way. So let's go ahead and get this thing onto the workbench and get some holes drilled in it for this mounting hardware. All right, so on the workbench, I've got uh, the little plastic tray here. What we're going to do is just remove this rubber cover. And then I bought this, uh, I believe this is called Tack Form or Track Form or something like that. I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. But we're just going to drill a few holes, two back here and then two right up here in each corner. That gives me three of these RAM ball mounts that I can use to attach different things to. Now, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to set everything up once it's in the truck. I kind of got to get it in there so that I can figure it out. But I'm thinking that uh, the camera will be on this side, maybe in the middle, and then the uh, FTM 500 is definitely going to go on this one. Let's uh, get this thing drilled up and see how it looks once we get it back in the truck. All right, we're gonna try to keep this so you guys can see exactly what's going on here. As I start to put this back together, the only thing we gotta worry about is getting this connector, which is the center speaker, plugged back up where it belongs. Now we can simply set this thing back down in here and we'll snap in the front. Oh. And I knocked over the camera. <laughs> All right, I've got the front snapped in. Now I'm just going to put these two bolts right back here in the back and then we'll put that grill cover uh, back on the top of the speaker. All right, and there it is buttoned up. You guys can see all of it went back together real nice. Got to get some of that sweat wiped off the dashboard, but other than that, we're okay. Now we can start putting some accessories up here on the dashboard. So here's what we ended up with for today. I'm probably going to come back and change this. I'm not super stoked about the layout, but the arm that's holding the radio on is just a little bit too short. So I'm probably going to order one that's a little bit longer uh, and bring that radio out just a little bit more. So that's where we got to today, though. I still have to run the cabling for the radio and get the mic plugged up and figure out what kind of mic holder I'm going to use for it. But there's a look at the new RAM ball mount setup using that TAC form mount to mount everything into the dash of the F-250. 
Okay, so it's been a couple of days and I had to make a few changes in the initial setup, but you can see that this is my view now from the driver's seat. One of the changes I had to make was I couldn't get this radio to tilt this direction uh, exactly the way I wanted it, so it was sitting more straight out. I figured out the only way that I could do that was actually use, and let's see if I can get that to focus there, a double... Uh, a double arm mount here so you've got the let's see if I can change hands with the camera you've got one mount that sits back here you've got a double ball connector here and then you've got another ram mount or grip mount or whatever you want to call it right here that allows me this one allows me to angle it up and down this one here allows me to angle it left and right so it came out pretty well i am uh, happy with that right now and it's going to leave us this mount right here for the 891 the only thing i haven't done right now i've just got the microphone laying right there so it comes down off of the head right there uh, I need a spot to hang the microphone, so we'll get around to that probably when I do the 891 install. But this has at least got the FTM 500 up, uh, you know, at eye level so that I can see more about what's going on. I've also added uh, some shortcuts here so that if I get APRS messages driving down the road, I can click right into those. This makes it a lot easier to see uh, from the driver's position without having to look down uh, where it was mounted before. So, so right now, I'm pleased with this setup. Now, rather than boring you with all of the details of how I had to route cables and coax and all the wiring and everything for the 891, uh, I didn't want you to have to suffer through me trying to figure out uh, exactly how all of that was going to get done. So we're just going to take a minute here and kind of give you an overview after the fact. So I started with the Breedlove mount for the ATOS antenna. And on the other side of this stake mount is another SO239 connector. By the way, I used ABR Industries coax with their FME connectors on it, making it super easy to get this done. So definitely consider uh, the ABR Industries coax if you need to pass coax through some small holes like I did in this install. I'll leave a link to that down in the description so you can save 10% on your next purchase. The coax connects to the underside of this Breedlove mount and feeds all the way through down to the bottom here. So you can see kind of where it comes out right here and it starts making its way along the frame of the truck all the way to the back of the cab. Now it's impossible to get this camera to focus, but between the bed and the cab, uh, down in there on the Fords, there is a little vent that allows air to pass through. It's also where I chose to run the coax through to pass it into the cab of the truck. On the inside of the back cab, down below the back seats, the coax comes in roughly right over here. I'm on the driver's side of the vehicle right now. The coax is going to run along this entire length before it turns and runs across the channel uh, right there at the door. And that coax runs all the way up to underneath the rear seat where the 891 is currently mounted. The only thing I don't have done for the installation is you can see that I've got power cable running and it's coming over to a battery box. I don't have the proper gauge wire to run my final power connection so that I'm tying into the power of the truck. However, Huntsville Hamfest is coming up in about 10 days from the time I'm recording this, and I will be picking up that wire when I get to Huntsville so I can complete that last bit of the installation. All right, up front, I've still got a couple of decisions to make here. You'll notice this MFJ clear tone speaker sitting here. I've just got it connected to the headphone jack on the A. 91. I've got to decide exactly where I'm going to mount this. Having the speaker underneath the uh, passenger seat over there on the body of the radio just isn't going to cut it. The other thing I've got to do is I've got to figure out exactly where I'm going to mount the mics. I'm going to look for a solution to that while I'm in Huntsville as well. But the 891 is now mounted here on that Lido mount arm. And then up above, we've got the FTM 500 and the backup camera for the RV right there. 
The microphone for the 891 comes up right here beside my seat. And that's where I need to decide how I'm going to hang this. I really don't want to leave it laying right here because there's a good chance that as I'm driving, it would uh, be a potential to mash the PTT button and dead key the radio. We definitely don't want to be doing that while we're driving. For the moment, I'm just going to leave it laying in the cup holder until I can come up with a better solution. The one thing I am really not a fan of doing is I really don't want to drill into the dashboard anywhere to mount a mic hanger. So hopefully we can come up with some other solution. I might actually modify this mount a little bit to give me a mic hanger on it. I'm only utilizing two of the uh, three ram mount arms up here. I might utilize that third one to be a mic hanger instead. The other thing that I want to be cautious of though is I don't want to cover up uh, my primary screen here in the truck. There's a look at exactly how I mounted everything into a 2020 Ford F-250. I hope this helps you out if you've got a similar truck and are interested in doing a similar installation. I appreciate you guys tuning in today. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you found this information helpful. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.